attendance in just a moment. Thank you all so much for being here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm going to clean my glasses. Oh. And then we will get started. I'm going to take my time today. We got some fun stuff to do. We got new stuff. We got a new recipe. We got new gear. So I'm really excited. Hope you all are excited. I was told Today is the one and only day I can wear a sweatshirt. So, hope you all like it. There's lots more coming. I wanna get this cable out of the way for Instagram. Sorry y'all, so janky. I'm not a professional, hold up. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, uh-oh, <laughs> one second. Let's see if it'll stick. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let us begin. Sometimes I wonder why y'all keep coming back here. <laughs> but we have fun. We're going to have fun again tonight. All right. Yes, we're good to go, I think. as if I need another uh, blooper reel. <sighs> well, let me start as always by introducing myself to you all, my day ones and my new ones. For anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to yet another struggle cooking class. A struggle because it's just me setting everything up and breaking everything down. So, you know, sometimes it takes me a little bit longer, but uh, I am also not a professional chef and I am not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> so if you came here expecting a professional experience, that is not what happens here. Uh, I'm just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food. <laughs> Y'all are hungry. Hello, Zentipal. Oh, sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. So we've got recipes tonight. We are going to check on our um, chia pudding for anybody that was here yesterday. We're going to get our chia pudding out of the fridge. We have merch to talk about, but I'm going to take attendance, clean the counter, and uh, wash my hands. The recipe that we're going to make, it says, and I did print it out. Let's see if we can, oh no, hold up y'all. Okay, a little slow. Uh, cheesy cabbage steaks or Mediterranean uh, pizza. Have I ever made this before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No. So um, this recipe is very similar to the cabbage steaks that we made and steaks is just the vegan way of saying when they take very thick cuts of a vegetable so we have to prepare our pizza crust which is cabbage and that's going to go into the air fryer the recipe says the oven but y'all know i use the air fryer so we're going to prepare our pizza crusts in the air fryer and while they are cooking up and tenderizing then we will do our merch reveal, but we'll get one out because I cannot wait. Um, and then while the pizza crust is cooking, we'll go through our merch. We will dress our chia pudding from yesterday and then uh, we'll take it out 
put our toppings on and put it back in for a few more minutes. I have a video you all will see. And uh, yeah, whatever else y'all want to do tonight, I'm taking my time. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, it is always an honor and a pleasure for me to cook for you all. It is the highlight of my day. Believe me. So, all right. So I'm going to take attendance. Let's start with uh, TikTok and see if I can see what's going on over here. Uh, Terrence says, I love the kitchen. Thank you so much, sir. Um, Miss Jackson or M Jackson Glam Shop. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. User 22. I appreciate it. For me, the TikTok uh, text on the screen is very small and I'm a woman of a particular age. So if you want to make it really easy to chat with me, you can come over to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter, but I will do my best. All right. Who do we have over here on IG? We have Yujo. We have Sarah. Urban Defenses, ooh wee, hello Zentiful, hello Carlos, <laughs> yes, hey J Shane, X Tanner, thank you all so much for being here, I appreciate you. And let's see who we have over here, everyone, starting with Wilbert. Wilbert says, wasn't the Maggie roll created on a pizza street? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about, Wilbert. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Yes, it was the California Pizza Kitchen dupe that we did on a cauliflower crust. <sighs> barbecue chicken with barbecue sauce, red onion and cilantro. <sighs> if y'all don't know what Wilbert is talking about, let me know and I will pull up the footage for you. I am not proud of my um, outtakes sometimes my moments are a bit much but um yes it was and yes first to class come to the front of the class Wilbert is our class clown you all know him and you love him thank you so much for being here we have femininity tv saying hi maggie in class thank you for the pink, pink flowers sweetheart we have jania uh, Miss Campbell, my first time seeing you here. Thank you for watching on Facebook. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, Madame. Yes, we have Smith Doll. Hey, so Smith, I'm wondering if you are a Georgia boy. I'm assuming this is a sir. Uh, hello, Maggie. I'm here for the lesson. Okay, I will do my best to actually teach because I know we have people here at uh, different levels of cooking. I'm not a proper teacher. I'm your substitute teacher because I teach uh, sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free substitutes. But uh, Athens girl, born in Ghana, raised in Athens. Everybody in my family went to Georgia except for me. So if you're a bulldog, how about them dogs? If not, my first time seeing you here and welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Main One says, hi, Maggie and chat people. Hello, sir. Thank you for being here. We have Bonnie Young saying hello, Maggie. Thank you for the wave. Geneva saying hello. Hello, madame. Celine is here. Hi, Maggie. Thank you so much for being here. I love that picture with the grass and the landscape. It's so beautiful. We have Whitney here. Um, uh, she says, hello, Maggie in class. Thank you so much for being here, sweetheart. Lauren says, hello, Maggie in class. Everyone, please like the stream. Thank you all for liking the live stream. I cannot even ask you <laughs> for anything because you all have been liking the stream so much. Our channel has grown. Okay, not that I'm looking, but I am looking. I think we're about to cross over to 35,000. We are not celebrating anything else, but I'm a little bit lame. I like to get screenshots of my milestones and I was told that I could uh, celebrate again at 50. And I checked before we went live, y'all. It was like 34,988. And uh, for anybody new here, a couple months ago, I only had 2000 subscribers had a couple of videos go viral, and now we're approaching 35,000 subscribers. So welcome one, welcome all, but I might be taking a look at it tonight because I'm just trying to remember everything as we go and as we grow. All right, you all, all right, 34,994. 
All right, so I'll just keep an eye on it. Uh, Lauren is our community travel agent. You all know we have a Maggie meetup this fall in November. It'll be a birthday cruise for me. I would love to meet you on the high seas. If you would like to join us November 27th, we're leaving out of Orlando. Uh, we have a website. I'm sure uh, it's in the description, but I'm sure that Lauren will drop it. Um, we're going to meet up. We're going to do q and I'm bringing gifts for you guys. I'm already planning my dinner reservations. If y'all want to have dinner with me, you can. If you want to eat on your own, you can. I'm just looking forward to it. Those of y'all who have a holiday birthdays, you know how it goes. We get the short end of the stick. Um, but none of the finances come to me. Lauren takes care of everything. Uh, within 30 minutes, you have your confirmation from... Um, Royal Caribbean. We are going on the allure of the seas. And if you're interested in saving your spot, it's a $200 deposit. And then you just have to pay the balance by September 1st. So you have all summer to figure it out. And I would love to meet you in person on the high seas. All right. So you all have the information there. All right. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm a uh... I'm getting behind. Miss Strong is in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Almond Eyes is in the house. She says, hey, y'all. Shout out to the South. Oh, Celine says, I went to his house for dinner with his family on Sunday. I made it a point to get my nails done and a $20 sundress at Old Navy, which I usually don't doll myself up. Thank you for saying that. I'm feeling a little frumpy today because I'm wearing sweats, which is not usually me. But I wanted to show you all the merch. And Celine, I appreciate it. I'm sure your uh, your Sunday date appreciated it. But how did you feel with, uh, you know, a little color on your nails and um, a $20 dress? It doesn't take much, ladies. So, yes, I have a cooking channel. I also have an etiquette channel. And I also have a relationship channel. And I have tried to keep them all very separate. But, y'all, I'm old. So at this point, you get what you get. All right? So we're going to get a little bit of everything here. But thank you, sweetheart. All right. Maine says, oh, we have a Chris in Toronto. Did I miss you? I'm so sorry, y'all. When I click away and I come back, sometimes I miss the chat. We are growing and I'm still operating like <laughs> it's just three of us. <laughs> so I like to take my time and welcome everybody in. So if I missed you, uh, hello, Chris in Toronto. My first time seeing you. Hello, sir. Um, Thank you for being here. If I missed anybody, please uh, repost it. Keisha says, good evening, Maggie and family. Hello, sweetheart. We have Alicia Lester. My first time seeing you. Hello from Facebook. Thank you for being here, my dear. Mona's here. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the hearts. I appreciate everything. Uh, Whitney, want to be natural, is here saying hi. Dina is here. Hello, Miss Hoya. She says, hello, everyone. Wilbert says, I'm not too sure about the Maggie roll. Pull up the video so we can remember. <laughs> Only for you, Wilbert. I'm going to embarrass myself yet again because Wilbert asked me to. If you ask me to do shout out Canada, I will give up my something and bring you in my arms forever. If you ask me to, Celine Dion, Excellent show in Vegas. I saw her years ago. Yes, Wilbert, I will pull it up so you all can see. Ah, oh, my dear. Ah, oh, Alicia says my daughter is graduating from fr on Friday from UGA. Go dogs! Yes, absolutely. I am a bulldog. I went to a girls' school. We don't have a football team, so I am a bulldog. Grew up in Athens. Everybody in my family, mom, dad, and brother, are all Georgia graduates. Follow K's track says ATL checking in. Thank you for the uh, mussels and the Georgia peach. Yes, hello everyone. Hello, Darlene. My first time seeing you here. She says, hi, Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. All right, so you all have the information on the cruise. All are welcome. You can bring yourself. You can bring your kids. You just reserve your room with $200. Everything goes directly to Royal Caribbean. And Lauren has a website. You all can take a look and get all of the details. Patty Moore says, looks delicious. I hope so. Have I ever made this before? Mm -mm. Has that ever stopped me? Mm -mm. So we're going to give it a try. We got Kia G in the house. She says, hello, Maggie and class. Happy Tuesday. I hope y'all are well. Yes, ma'am. I'm feeling good. 
Celine says it was nice, like visiting an old friend and resuming where we left off. We're taking it step by step, step by step. Ooh, baby. Let me just get this part out. Wanna get to you, girl. Okay. For anybody new here, I have musical outbursts. It's just who I am. But Celine, that is wonderful and beautiful. The best relationships just take time and develop slowly. So I appreciate you sharing. Want to be natural, so sweet. Mona is looking. What are we looking at? Did I miss it already? I know, y'all. Every time I come in here, I want to be elegant. I was told I need to do better. But you know what? Have y'all ever been like, we got all these rules in life and work and the kids and I got to be responsible and bills and all that. And when I get in here, I just, I just want to be free. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I want to represent, but I struggle. All right. We got everybody. Thank you, Mona. Okay. Yes. Congrats, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to show y'all the Maggie roll, Wilbert. Um, but yes, I'm just... So, so happy y'all are here. If I missed anybody, if you want to be counted present, please shout yourself out. If you prefer to watch from the clouds, you are most welcome here. You know who you are. One second, y'all. I'm looking. We're at 3494. 3494. You can't see that. It's too bright. All right. I'm just going to keep an eye on it until I get my screenshot. And thank you all. Thank you for all of my... Uh, subscribers, new and old. I'm noticing the lag here. I want to make sure that you all are able to see this because I do have a video for you. But if you go to YouTube or Twitter or TikTok or Instagram, I'm Maggie the Substitute Teacher on all platforms. Want to be natural says, where can you take the elegance class charm school? Absolutely. So I have invested thousands in my own uh, development. Hello, peace. There are several that I use. Um, if you want to take a look, want to be natural, you can go over to my either my Patreon or go to my Teachable Moments with Maggie channel and go over to the community tab because I'm always posting there. And I'm meeting with my etiquette teacher tomorrow. I meet with her once a month. So if anybody has any questions, um, you can let me know and I will ask her. We already have a question on the table about how to elegantly drink one of those cocktails that has sugar around the rim. Uh, so yes. But Anna Bay, Emma DuPont, um, Jamila Musayeva, uh, Woman of Elegance, there's so many. And I keep taking them clearly, oh shucks, because I need them. Uh, but yes, okay, we're getting there. Just a little bit of a lag. So y'all can check out my shorts. Look at my crazy face. And I'm gonna find the Maggie roll for you that Wilbert wants to remind us of. So if you're new here, I seem to do a little bit of a happy dance when I eat my food. And uh, this is really me cooking what I'm eating for myself or the family. And I made a copycat California pizza kitchen. And it was a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free uh, pizza on a cauliflower crust. And y'all, I don't know if I'm going to like it. If I like it, you're going to know. If I don't like it, you're going to know. So I seem to really like this one and uh, had a little bit of a, a response. Woo! I post every day, y'all, so we got a lot going on here. Okay, ready? Wilbert. Cash app. <laughs> Real bravado. One more time. So this is not my proudest moment, but uh, my scholars aptly named that the Maggie roll. Who does that? Who does that? All right, so you all can see over here. So I took a bite of the pizza. We had made everything from scratch. It finally came out and I got to enjoy and uh, I had a little bit of a moment. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you. We did get a cash app. Thank you so much, Wilbert, for the $10. You're going to go up on the Struggle Stream microwave. Um, 
you are the stream sponsor and the stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, buy me a coffee, uh, gold blooms. I just appreciate you all being here. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just humbled. I, I can't even believe that y'all watch most of the time, but Wilbur just sent a cash app. You might've heard it. He sends $10. He says, may the Maggie roll prosper forever. <laughs> even if I wanted to stop, I don't think I could. So I'm going to put you up on the struggle stream whiteboard. And then I'm going to show you all the recipe that we are making tonight. Okay. So that is the Maggie roll. And Wilbur is one of my day ones. And he will always remember, remind me of my um, least elegant moments. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, Wilbert. All right, everybody's doing good. Dina says, cute. Chris, you love the Maggie roll? It's up there, y'all. Go to my YouTube page, go to my shorts. It was kind of like a pre-viral video and you gotta scroll down because I do stream every day. Uh, a little housekeeping. Uh, usually it's cooking Monday through Friday. It's usually dinner time, East Coast. Uh, on the weekends, it's usually like lunch or brunch, East Coast time. However, tomorrow, I'm going to do my first live stream exclusively in my Patreon. That'll be 5 p.m. Eastern. So if anybody's interested in the Elegance uh, Club, my Patreon, I have two levels. One of them is $1. Um, so if you want to talk to me about etiquette and elegance and pick my brain, any of that stuff, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Of course, you can catch the replay. It will not be a live stream. It'll just be for those in my Patreon. And then tomorrow evening, 8 p.m., I'm scheduled to be on a panel with Melanie King on her channel. So I will share it again on my community tab and everywhere so you all can see. So no cooking stream tomorrow. You can see me in the Patreon at five and you can see me on YouTube at eight. All right, so just letting you all know. But usually I'm here every day. All right, so let's clean the counter. I just need to leave that up. Now that everybody's memory has been refreshed. Let's clean the counters off and I'm going to show you all this video that came in my feed. I get recipe inspiration from everywhere and uh, sometimes I see stuff and I'm like, ooh, do I have all of those ingredients or most of those ingredients? And if so, then I come on here and try it with you all. So what I eat is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. But if you can have the full flavor, you can absolutely use them. I just show you the substitutes the way I do it. All right, let's clean hands while this air dries. All right, and so this recipe came from Hungry Happens, and I did put the link in um, the description for you and tagged on Instagram. This is a Greek woman. Her name is Stella, and she has, hold on, y'all, let me just check. We're at $34.96. I'm just waiting to see if it gets to $35,000 so I can get a screenshot. So forgive me. I'm a little bit nerdy like that. I'm just capturing the moments, y'all, because... Believe me, I didn't think anybody would care. Okay, um, Instagram. So let me pull up the recipe so you all can see. And let me know, this is basically making like a pizza, but on a cabbage crust, okay? I know, sounds weird, I agree. So I use my Instagram folders. I use all of my social to save recipes when they come across. I will save them in different folders so I can find them again. Um, and then I share them with you all. That's where I get a lot of my uh, inspiration from. So this is coming from Hungry Happens. Okay, so this is Stella. Miss Stella has liked a couple of our streams. So Miss Stella, if you're watching, thank you so much for these recipes. And if you would ever like to do a cooking collab, I would love to cook side by side with you virtually. All right, y'all. So let me pull this up so you all can see and I'll play it over here and then I'll play it over here. 
Um, da -da -da -da. She has so much good stuff on here, guys. After a while, when I'm scrolling through these recipes, it's like they all look the same. Oh, that's the, hold on y'all. Okay, here it is. All right, so this is her cheesy cabbage steaks. Again, these cheesy cabbage steaks are the bomb. I made both a pizza version and Mediterranean for a little variety. Brush both sides of your vegetable slices with a mixture of olive oil, Parmesan, and spices. Bake for 30, then add on your marinara or pesto, mozzarella on both, pepperoni or feta to melt. Now love your life. All right, so for you guys over here, I'm going to play this so you all can see. This is what we're making. Then I'm going to leave it on, on um, mute, and we'll get the ingredients out. Ever making cabbage any other way again. These cheesy cabbage steaks are the bomb. I made both a pizza version and Mediterranean for a little variety. Brush both sides of your vegetable slices with a mixture of olive oil, Parmesan, and spices. Bake for 30, then add on your marinara or pesto, mozzarella on both, pepperoni or feta to melt. Now love your life. Okay, so you, making let me turn off the sound. Okay, so you all saw she had two versions here, and I am going to make both versions, but I want to know if you all are team, while I refresh, she had a marinara version which is like uh the cabbage slice with marinara sauce cheese and pepperoni so pepperoni pizza then she had another version that was like a mediterranean version with pesto instead of pizza sauce cheese and then feta which is our crumbled i'm going to use the sheep's milk cheese so i want to know if you all are team marinara or team pesto so you can uh, put that in the chat if you want to, but we are going to make both. Okay. So I'll keep an eye on that. All right. So we have, all right. So this is doing its thing. I did print out the recipe. Main one says, oh my, my, I had no idea the crust is the cabbage. Yes. Looks amazing and healthy. Yeah. So those of y'all that are low carb, those of y'all that are keto, I am not keto. Keto allows you to have dairy, but I do get a lot of keto inspiration from keto recipes. But yeah, so we're going to slice the cabbage into our uh, pizza crust. Sorry, y'all. I'm just refreshing here. I want to catch it exactly at 35,000. Okay, Chrissy says, hi, Maggie in class. Hello, sweetheart. Good to see you again. I haven't been on a live in a hot minute. Well, welcome back, my dear. I'm glad that you all are here. I just started culinary school, so I've been a bit overwhelmed. Well, you know what? Look, I always say I'm not a professional. I am a home cook. I am the daughter of a uh, retired home science teacher, um, but we're going to figure it out together. But congratulations on starting culinary school. It's kind of a dream of mine, but like... I enjoy cooking and I don't want it to become work for like paying customers because then y'all be looking crazy like what's taking so long lady you know stop with all the dancing and whatnot uh, but I'm super proud of you my dear please keep us posted sorry pulling my pants up all right what are y'all saying over here so Chris in Toronto is team marinara okay so we're gonna make a pizza version for you Mona is team marinara Alicia's here for marinara. Whitney wants marinara. Deron wants marinara. Hello, sir. I think my first time seeing you here. Dina is team pesto. Okay. Uh, Kia is marinara. Chrissy is marinara. And Maine is marinara. Okay. I hear you all loud and clear. So let's get our ingredients out. So you all saw that this is two steps. Okay. So we are going to talk about our new merch. You will not find Maggie on only fans, which you will find Maggie on only pans. And I got aprons and all kind of stuff to come out. But let's go ahead and get this cut up and greased up and in the air fryer. All right. I'll just keep an eye on it, y'all. Tasha, you're never late, my dear. Y'all can come late. You can leave early. You can multitask. I'm just glad that you're here. You know, I'm running my mouth anyway. All right. So for the cabbage steaks, and this is the actual recipe. So we need one green cabbage. Let me get a cabbage. And for anybody new here, 
I don't really prepare in advance. I do everything live for you all because I've been watching these cooking shows forever and it's like they put the perfect chicken in and then they put take the perfect chicken out. And I'm like, why doesn't mine look like that? So we're gonna do everything together. And then by the time I'm done and I'm doing the Maggie roll, now you understand why. But it's a labor of love. Deron says, my first time seeing you live. Welcome, sir. Everybody's welcome here. I'm gonna pull the video up. I know we got new people coming in. Oh, the millennial misses, this is cold, says it might be good with bacon too, yes. So for you all that are new, anytime um, I do a new recipe, and this is new to me, it just came in my Instagram feed. I always do it the first time per their instructions, but this gives you all inspiration and it gives me inspiration too. So we can see how these pizza crust cabbages turn out. Um, and you could absolutely make it, have it your way, Burger King. We're gonna season the crust and get that to bake. And uh, you could absolutely do like, a, what do y'all like on your pizza? You could do bacon with like peppers. Uh, you could do pepperoni and mushroom. Uh, you could do that California pizza kitchen with barbecue sauce, red onion and cilantro, um, and like barbecue chicken. Just allow your, um, imagination to run wild, right? Because we're all creatures of habit. And this is just fun for me because when you're eating healthy, it's like, don't nobody want that bland chicken. So we're gonna, you know, have some fun over here. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, thank you, Wilbert. Did Wilbert do something? I missed it. Maybe you're on the on the delay. Yes, thank you, Wilbert. Ooh, Chris in Toronto says jalapenos. Yes, if you're team spicy, she does have peppers on the feta version. So I am going to put a little bit of red pepper on there. Um, I don't know why. Okay, there it is. All right. So we have a cabbage. Okay. And then the next ingredient says a quarter cup of olive oil. Usually what I use is the MCT coconut oil. That's been approved for me, but I am going to get olive oil because I'm going to make it just like hers. All right. So let's get some olive oil. Um, Stella is of Greek ancestry, uh, so she does a lot of Mediterranean recipes, and um, she's new to me, but she has 1.6 million followers, so she's been cooking for a while. Um, so I was interested in this feta version, so we'll see how that goes. So I just have some Kroger olive oil. You can use whatever olive oil that you have, okay? So we've got the cabbage, we've got the olive oil, refreshing like a nerd. If anybody hasn't subscribed, do me a favor. I'm like four subscribers away from 35,000. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to get a screenshot at 35,000. I don't ask for much, but if you would, then I don't have to toggle back and forth. Uh, check and make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Mona says yes to the jalapeno. Team spicy? Okay. And... So a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So if you can have dairy, then you can have grated Parmesan cheese. Of course, I've got the green one from Kraft that you can uh, shake. Look, I'm not the food police. Please do what works for you. But uh, I am dairy free. And when I say dairy free, that is cow dairy. Some people are like, I see cheese. How is it dairy free? Something about the proteins and cow dairy, my body does not tolerate. For me, it just makes me like kind of mucusy and just like, I don't know. So I can have goat's cheese, sheep's cheese, and you know, plant based dairy. So that's what I do. All right. So I'm going to show you all what I'm going to use. Oh, Patty just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. We are at 34,997. All right, let me get the cheese I'm using. So I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna run to the garage and get the other cheese so you all can see because I know we have new people here. All right. I'm just refreshing. We're three away from 35K. I have, oh, I gotta have jalapenos with feta. I do have some jalapenos in the jar, so I'll put that on one. Chris says, is this a TO thing? What is TO? Is that Toronto? I don't know. All right, let me go get the other cheese just so everybody can see, all right?
All right, I wanna do a good job of making sure I inform. Uh, so this is your standard, um, like this is in the kids fridge. So your craft, like grated, grated cheese is the one that's like the little crumbles, the little shakeable one. If you can have dairy, then you can have this. But what I'm going to be using, all right, still holding. What I'm going to be using is this right here. So you see this says grated Pecorino Romano. So this is an Italian cheese that I'm going to use. This came from the grocery store. A lot of the dairy substitutes that I use are not in the dairy case where like the milk and like the craft cheese are. If you wanna look for some of these cheeses, you might need to look in the front of the store where the deli is. So if you go to where they have like the boar's head and different stuff like that, you may find some of these specialty cheeses, but I'll show you guys. So this is what I'm using, the Pecorino Romano, and you can see it's very similar to, this is your craft. Um, Parmesan. This is your Pecorino Romano. So you all can see the difference. But the difference for me, sorry, I'm multitasking y'all. This is a sheep's milk cheese. So if you, uh, okay, old. See right here, it says made from 100% pasteurized, pasteurized sheep's milk. So this Pecorino Romano is a great substitute for Parmesan. If you want a dry, salty, aged cheese that goes really well with Italian cuisine, Pecorino Romano is what I'm going to be using. <laughs> Chris says, yes. Is this a Toronto thing? I have no idea where she is. Stella is, I don't know if she's in Greece, but it says, the Greek flag and the American flag. Oh, she's in New York. So I don't, you know, I don't know. I've never seen this recipe before, but we're gonna give it a try. Who else is coming in here? Hello, Rosalind. Thank you for being here, my dear. Dina, subscribe. All right, I'm still holding that 34,997. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I know it's kind of lame, but I've been getting screenshots. When I started my channel last year, I had 32 subscribers and they were all friends and family. So I really appreciate the growth. I don't take it for granted, but I have been taking screenshots like at 100 subscribers and at 1,000 subscribers and we're almost at 35,000. So I appreciate it so much. And that's why I just pull it down to refresh. I didn't mean for it to go like during the stream, but okay. So we got our cabbage, we have our olive oil, we have Parmesan cheese, and then we need garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, and Italian seasoning. All right, so let me go grab the spices. It can really be any spice that you like, but let me grab them. Um... So we have garlic powder. This is pretty much onion powder. We pretty much have the basics that you use for anything. Oh, Y'all, we are at, this is me, I'm such a nerd. We are at $34,998. The difference is in the taste. Um, is it the Pecorino Romano versus the Parmesan? Thank you. Hello, P. Thompson, my first time seeing you here. <laughs> Thank you. We're almost there, y'all. 34,998. Okay, let me get the other seasonings. Um, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and chili powder. Um, I know you're here. Where are you? Oh. After a while, they all look the same, y'all. Here I come. Oh. There it is, paprika and chili powder. So we have paprika, and these are just dollar store spices. If you have the fancy stuff, use it. <gasps> okay, y'all, I gotta take a second look. We're at $34,999. I'm here, I'm just refreshing, okay? <laughs> Rosalind, thank you. Okay, and here is our chili powder. Sorry, y'all, here's our chili powder. This is what I do. This is so embarrassing. Okay, paprika and then Italian seasoning. I'm taking this with me to refresh. 
<laughs> Y'all remember when we hit 5,000? If you were here when we hit 5,000 in the stream, Put 5K in the chat. Some of y'all were here when we hit 5,000 in the stream. <gasps> y'all look, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Thank you, y'all. Look, my channel has had 5 million views. Thank you. <sighs> okay, that's it. No more. That's enough, Maggie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful. Okay. Thank you. Rosalind sends a $20 super sticker. <laughs> Maggie roll. Maggie rolls are free. Let me get Rosalind up on the board. Thank you for the $20. No question. No comment. Just the pure love of the snacks. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you, Wilbert, for the $10. Rosalind is our stream spot. There's 35,000 of y'all. Who are you? Yeah. When I started my channel, y'all know I'm a boy mom, two teenage sons. And my oldest was like, you? People want to watch you make my dinner? Y'all know y'all have been here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Thank you. We grow together. We grow together. Thank you. 35K. Turn up, right? $20. Rosalind. Thank you. Thank you. Chris says, yay. Alicia says, congratulations. Maine, you were here for 5K. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Deron giving me the hand claps. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Gina says, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Wanna Be Natural says, I've had my channel since 2013. Nowhere near this. Congratulations, y'all. This is all new. I don't take anything for granted. I started my channel last year. Two months ago, I had 2,000 subscribers. Now we just crossed over, we just crossed over 35,000. So, wow, that is awesome. Oh, thank you. Kia was here for 5K, but you were a ninja watcher and you were here, <laughs> you remember? Oh my gosh. Nana was the 1,000th, so my mom is the one who taught me everything I know. And when I started my channel, y'all don't understand. My mom was like, I'm not subscribing. I said, Mom, will you subscribe to my channel? Oh, Maggie, I do not think I can afford. I'm like, Mom, it's free. Will you subscribe to my channel? And I explained to her how it works. And she said, I had to get 999 and my mom was the 1,000th subscriber. And that's important because if you wanna earn income on YouTube, I do have a course, you all can preview it for free. Um, YouTube, uh, I monetize on YouTube, which just means I earn income. It pays for private school and as a mom, I just appreciate it so much, but yeah. So Kia was here when mom was my 1,000th. TLA was so happy, I know. Y'all the proud student of lead attorney. Yes, exactly. Y'all remember. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Wilbert was here for 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000. Yes, he is. God is so good. Um, Yahweh will be done. I was one of the folks saying, keep going. You were in the lives with two people. Y'all, I've been there. I've been here by myself. But you know what? The thing that kind of kept me going is because I love talking to y'all. But at the end of the day, like if nobody's watching, this is really me at home. Like seriously, this is not a studio. This is my home. I'm making dinner for myself or the family. So I'm like, well, if nobody's watching, at least I have a meal or the boys have a meal. <laughs> um, so that's what kind of kept me going. Thank you. Chris says, I first caught you on Just Pearly Things and signed up immediately. Thank you for, just thank you. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all are here for the food, but oh, it's just, I'm just grateful. I just, I'm just grateful. Okay. 
I think we were up to Italian seasoning, y'all. Now I can focus. Honestly, I've been a little distracted. Sorry, y'all. But thank you for allowing me to have these moments. It's really just me. I'm just a mom. I'm just a home cooker. And I didn't think anybody would care. And y'all are here. So thank you. Lauren was here since I had 100 subscribers. That's right. One of my day ones, my neighbor and our travel agent. Okay, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, and Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay, we got everything. So thank you all. I really, really appreciate it. Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. All right, so we got that. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do this since I've been talking long enough. Y'all can see we're going to cut this um, cabbage and then we're going to put the seasoning on there and let that cook, okay? Then we'll get the pizza toppings out, but I don't want to keep you all waiting. Hi! Mom! My mom is always cloud watching. Mom says, you keep going, Maggie, and congratulations to all. More power to Wilbert. Keep stirring things up for you. Stir it up, <laughs> little darling, stir it up. Everybody say hi, Nana. You know mom's always watching. Chrissy says, taking a bit of time for gratitude is always important. Do you, Miss Maggie? Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Keisha says, congratulations, Maggie. So happy for you. I remember discovering you on Aisha's weight loss group. Absolutely. Y'all, at least once a month, you will see me in a cooking collab with Aisha. Miss Aisha, she has also a million and a half on Facebook, and we do cooking collabs at least once a month, usually the last Wednesday of the month. So however you all found me and whatever makes you come back, I'm so grateful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, it's a struggle. I have gotten the comments. I'm working on it. It's a struggle, but we're going to do it every day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Preheat your oven to 425. What does Wilbur say? I'm not doing that. I'm using the air fryer. So you all saw this. She did six. So she cut the whole cabbage. I'm going to see how many I can get in the air fryer. At least two, maybe three or four. Okay. Because uh, I don't like, I'm in the South y'all and I'm old. So I don't like to use the oven if I don't have to. I'm going to be using the air fryer. So I'm just going to do a smaller portion, but we're going to cut up our cabbage. The air fryer is an oven with a fan, so it cooks faster and it cooks, uh, it doesn't like heat up as much or something like that. So, um, yes, we're going to cut this and I'm going to skip the preheat because I'm talking anyway. All right, preheat your oven, oven to 425 and line your large rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper. So for anybody new, a baking sheet, oh, You can get them in different sizes, but this is a baking sheet. So if you're going to be cooking in the oven, you would get this and line it with parchment paper, okay? Um, I'm gonna do something different. I got something new I wanna try, but just so you all know. Okay. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone. I know we got new people here. So it looks like wax paper, but it's not wax paper. Very different. Wax paper will make your oven smoke and you don't want that. Parchment paper has been treated with silicone so it doesn't stick. You can get it on the roll or you can get it in sheets. So you'll find this with the aluminum foil and the cling wrap, okay? But since I'm using my air fryer, my air fryer is smaller. So I have this little drip tray. Everybody's saying hello, Nana. Duran says, I love the authenticity. Your energy is amazing. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. Oh, just checking uh, TikTok. It's so hard to read over there. Okay. So I saw these on Instagram, but I'm not buying them through Instagram. I bought these through Walmart. So I'm going to give these a try. These air fryer liners. And you can see it's parchment paper, but it's a nine inch square. So you can get the parchment paper on the roll. I'm gonna see how this square works and then just put it on here. So parchment is great anytime you're baking or if you're doing fries, chicken wings, anything that's kind of you know oily or that could stick. All right, so let's see what this looks like. 
Okay, this is a little bit bigger than I need, but, oh, actually, no, hold up. Let's give it a try. Oh, and this comes from Reynolds. So the same Reynolds that makes aluminum coil, we're gonna give these a try, just so that I don't have to fuss on the roll, okay? So parchment paper, excellent. Now, a little hack, usually when I get this off of the roll, it you know rolls up on itself, but a little hack you can do, you can put some oil directly on the pan and it'll act like a glue, so I will do that. I got a little bit leftover oil here completely optional, but especially if you're doing anything with like a cake batter, my sprayer is broken. So I'm just, I don't want to waste. I want to get the last bit of the oil out of here. I know y'all. Yeah. When I press it, it doesn't come back up. So. All right. Oh, of course I got it on the counter. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to brush it with a little pastry brush and use it like a glue. So just a little bit of oil. And then when I put the parchment paper on here, it'll kind of, well, it should stick. Okay, so we've got this ready. Let me get the cutting board. All right, step number two, do not trim your cabbage stem, leave it intact. Slice your cabbage first in half, then into thick slices. You should end up with six or seven slices. All right, so we are gonna go for however we, we can fit on here, probably just two, that's okay. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way for now. Let's get our cutting board and we're gonna cut it up. Oh, mom, you feeling good today? All right, glad to hear that. All right. All right, so it says, do not trim your cabbage stem. So the stem, and I'm gonna wash the whole, yeah, should I? Yeah, let me go ahead and wash the whole thing. Keep my cutting board greased up. Um, <laughs> and moisturize my hands. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Okay. So this is the cabbage. This is the stem. Obviously, this is where it came up off of the ground. You know, usually when we're cutting cabbage, we're going to cut this stem out because we just want the leaves. And the leaves are great for like lettuce wraps. Uh, well, not lettuce. They would be cabbage wraps or little um, dumpling substitutes. If you steam the lettuce, cabbage leaves, you can have like a low carb version of those type of like pot sticker dumpling things. But anyway, if we cut off this stem, then all of the leaves are gonna cut up, come off. Just like when we did the broccoli stalks last time or the cabbage. So you wanna keep this in, intact for your recipe, all right? So I'm gonna wash the whole thing. And then we need to slice it. So notice how she sliced it. I'm gonna get a knife and we're gonna try, and we're gonna cut it down the middle first and then we're gonna cut at least two halves of it, all right? All right, just try to sharpen the knife so that when I'm cutting something that's big, I don't have to put as much pressure. All right, y'all, I'm slow, so I gotta watch this, how she cuts hers. All right, so that's the end product. And apparently her knees buckled. Okay, so she's cutting it down. So I'm putting the stem down on the cutting board. Okay, so it's not rolling around. And I'm just gonna cut from the top down. Hello, Linda. Linda with the love notes. Thank you for being here. All right, so let's just try and I'm not strong. And let me, you know what, for safety, a little hack. I'm gonna put this wet paper towel underneath the cutting board. Keeps it from moving. You could do a kitchen towel too, because um, you don't want, especially when you have a knife, you don't want anything wobbly. So I'm just gonna put that underneath the cutting board so when I add pressure, it doesn't move on me. 
One second, y'all. I'm not strong. This is how my dad does it. Forgive me. When he has to cut something big like this, I guess I could go around. He puts like the knife through it and then just kind of hacks through it. Okay. So we have our cabbage cut in half. Beautiful. And so we left the stem in. Okay. So now, oh, cabbage any other way again. These cheesy cabbage steaks are the bomb. I mean, okay. Two hacks so far. <laughs> All right. So let's see. All right. So we're going to cut. Uh, I don't know how thick she cuts them. It says cut into thick slices. To me, this is pretty thick. All right. So I think this is pretty thick. So we have one cabbage steak. This would be cabbage. This could be cauliflower. So we have one. All right. I think we're only going to get two, y'all. But that's okay. We'll do one pepperoni and one feta. All right. So, and I'm going to hold it here, keep my fingers out of the way and go straight down. Y'all. Okay. Forgive me. Again, I haven't been to culinary school. This is just what I do. All right. So we have our second steak. So get that. Okay. We'll keep that on. So two thick steaks. So we'll leave this behind us for now. And we will put, see if I can get two in the air fryer. So instead of six, if you're doing this for the family or you're doing this, you want to use the whole cabbage, you can see how she has like um, all six of them. All right. So I think they're pretty thick. Y'all can see the, so we have two. That's all I'm going to do. All right. So let me move this for now. Um, of course, you can chop up the rest of this cabbage and steam it with butter. You can make like a side dish. For those of y'all that were with me that we did the cabbage Alfredo, we cut the cabbage into little strips and cooked it down soft, small strips to resemble like a noodle and then made a dairy-free, because I'm dairy-free, Alfredo sauce and tossed it in there. Y'all. Okay, focus, Maggie. Dur I know. <laughs> Perfect thickness. Hi. <laughs> Chris is counting my hacks. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm just, I'm not strong. Y'all, I told you, I'm like memory foam. I'm soft. I don't have muscles like that. So, but we got it done. All right. So two thick slices. So now she used like a little measuring cup. So I'm going to get my gravy boat. And we're going to get all of the oil and the cheese and the spices, and we're gonna brush it on here. Um, hello, Stacy. hello everyone. Uh, so that, and then both sides, and then put that in the air fryer to cook our crusts. Duran, I know, that's what I gotta do. They're brilliant, thank you, Chris. There goes Maggie again, making me hungry. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, amount. So we need a quarter cup of olive oil. Let me take that off, a quarter cup of olive oil. All right, so not much. You can really eyeball this, y'all, but I try to do it right. So that we got a quarter cup. All right, so let's pour that in here. Really, I probably would use a little more. Pay attention. All right, so we got a quarter cup-ish. And this we're going to brush into that cabbage to get it nice and greased up. And that way the seasoning gets all the way inside here. You don't just want the seasoning to be uh, that flavor to be on the toppings. We want it to cook all the way through. So the oil will help soften the cabbage leaves with the heat and um, the, um, I'll switch it over so y'all can see, and that seasoning. All right. And then a quarter cup of the grated Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So Parmesan, if you can have it, we're just going to do equal portions. I'm using this Pecorino. Well, let me bring it here so y'all can see. It really doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it smells good. It smells salty. It smells cheesy. And it's got that grated texture. That's just going to get in there. Like we say in the South and all them corners. <laughs> corners. I can't even say it right. All right. So let's put the cheese in here. And y'all know we're greedy. I'm not going to waste that. We're going to get up in there. Get up everything. We don't want to waste that goodness. Absolutely. Cheesy oil. You could stop right here with a little bit of garlic salt. Get you some, uh, you know, crusty bread of your choice. Don't worry. I'm going to stir it up. Stir it up. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. I know it doesn't go like that. Y'all will be all right. Okay. So right now we have our oil and we have our cheese. All right. Then we're going to put all of our seasonings in there. And it says a half teaspoon. So quarter cup olive oil, quarter cup Parmesan, and then a half teaspoon of all of the spices. So just get it in there. That's right. We're not wasting nothing. Exactly. Exactly. What are we talking about? Half a teaspoon. Groceries are expensive. All right. So we have, oh, it's hard to see. Half. Yeah half teaspoon. All right, so in no particular order, let's go in the onion powder. All right, so shake off a little bit of excess, but honestly, you can season until your ancestors tell you to stop, stop. but since this is my first time making it, we're gonna do it their way. Hello, everybody coming in. Hello, 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 hello. Oh. Joe Ethereal says, know them conas, <laughs> in them conas. <laughs> I know. Shout out to the country boys. Yeah, G Jania says, go girl. Yeah, we're not wasted over here. All right, next is the paprika. So that'll give us some nice, beautiful brown color on our pizza crust. Uh, who do we have here? The quiet storm, always watching from the clouds. All right. So we did the onion powder, the paprika. A good thing so you don't mess up is move it out of the way once you've used it. But I want y'all to see everything. That's why I cook live. I am gonna start recording some videos. So for some of y'all that don't want all of the talking, like my mom who don't want the dance moves, I'm gonna hire one of the boys, they don't know it yet, to record uh, some videos, just like 20 minutes beginning to end. But I think y'all like it here. Garlic powder. All right, I wasn't too sure about chili powder um, in this recipe because this is like Italian flavor. It's very savory, very garlicky. But y'all, this chili powder, when we did it on the cauliflower, it adds like a smokiness that is like, I can't explain it. It just works really well with the vegetables because you know, the vegetables are kind of bland by themselves, like the cauliflower steak. Um, so this chili powder, uh oh, I went a little heavy. A little chili powder gives it a nice uh, smokiness and color. <laughs> season until the end, sisters. Tell you to stop. Hey, if you like it lightly seasoned, do it light. If you like it the way I like it, that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. I know. Peggy, that's not elegant. I know. No. I keep getting to talking to and I keep keep promising to get better and then I don't. I get excited. Sorry. All right. Italian se seasoning. You could really go extra on this one, especially if you're making like a the feta version or the pizza version. All right. So I'll just stir it up. Let me see. Okay. Focus, Maggie. In number three, in a glass measure cup, combine the olive oil, grated parm, spices listed, and salt and pepper 
to taste. Brush this mixture on both sides of each cabbage piece. Bake for 30 minutes. It's not gonna take us 30 minutes. 20 minutes or until golden. We'll have a Walmart water break and then the merch. Show you the merch. Okay, focus. All right, so we have our beautiful bowl here with all of our oil and spices. You can use the oil of your choice. Olive oil is, you know, what she has. And then our corner spoon. <laughs> Miss Maggie's Q score. What is the Q score? Y'all know I don't know. All right, let me just stir this up. We want it nice and thick and chunky. The sauce, okay, the sauce. So let's get up in there. Y'all y'all see all that goodness? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know you like it. All of that, that cheesiness, that, uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, TV <laughs> Thank you. Um, I won't say very many details because people are watching, but I am getting recognized. Um, I have another Apple podcast. I can tell you that there's an interview I did of an Apple podcast last week. And then you all will see another one this week. And who knows, maybe TV, maybe not, but that's all I'll say. Ah, oh, Kristen, you're a shiny star. <laughs> no matter who you are, are, shining bright to see. Who you can truly be, who you can truly be. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. Okay, I forgot y'all were here. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> Big Red says, looks good, but man, I realized there were no steaks. I can make a steak. I've made several steaks. But this is, um, I know, they're cabbage steaks. I know, I got y'all, I'm sorry. But that's what she calls them. This is the actual recipe, cheesy cabbage steak. Some people are like, don't encourage her. Okay, focus, Maggie. So did we get everything? I'm gonna go one more time around. There's a little bit more in there. Hold up. Pecorino Romano ain't cheap, y'all. I got Okay. All right. All right, Maggie, focus. All right. Now I'm gonna pour onto our steaks a little bit of water in the oil oh and to get the rest of the cheese all right i'm gonna pour a little then we're gonna brush it on then we're gonna turn it over okay so we're just gonna drizzle on both all right so i used a little bit and then we're gonna get in here with the brush we want to get that cheesy goodness get up in there and I'm loving the layers of this cabbage, the way cabbage is, y'all, when it gets hot and it gets down up in there. <laughs> Sorry. Focusing. I get excited. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got this side. Beautiful. You can see that Italian seasoning. Seasoning, you can see the cheese. All right. So now we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the same and I want to go around the sides too but let's turn it over here comes mom with the correction now Marcus tells her how he sees her fun and attention side Marcus is my um oldest son y'all and when I got a thousand subscribers that boy said you did you fall and it go viral all right so we're going to turn it over y'all can see what we have we want to do both sides, so we're going to get flavor from the top and the bottom. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to do the same. I'm going to use the rest. I'm going to do a little bit heavy-handed on this side. I went a little light on the other side, but we're going to use all of it. All right. And then I'm going to save some to go around. So just brushing it in there. 
Take your time, let it get in there, in those crevices. Oh yeah. Can y'all imagine once this gets all cooked, you got that tender cabbage, cheesy, <laughs> greasy, <laughs> saucy. Mm. All right. So we got a nice little layer. Y'all could probably cook this just like this and not top it. If you want to make an easy side dish, you could probably just cook that and um, just cut it up. All right, I got a little bit more. I'm just going to go back over. Yeah, I want to go back over the other side because I want to make sure I get it. I was a little light. We're going to use all of that. Oh, but y'all, this is supposed to be for like six. Whatever. We're going to have a little extra. <laughs> what do they call it at Pizza Hut? You know that garlic crust or whatever when you can get that drizzle? All right. And then I'm just going to use the last little bit on the edges. These steaks are kind of thick. I forgot. I'm like, man, we had a lot of sauce. Y'all will be all right. The oil plus the heat will give it that nice. And now I'm just going to do the sides, okay? The way that sauce soaks into the cabbage. Man, you understand me. Exactly. Duran says, these kids, they won't let me be great, y'all. You see me as mom. Exactly. And y'all see me as Maggie. All right, so we're going to get in here with this brush. Then we'll get up on the sides. Get up in there. Get up off of that thing. All right, we're going to get this stuff, and I'm just going to stand it up gently and just kind of brush around. Oh, yeah, y'all see that? We're going to brush all the way around. We want every little blast of heat to get up in there. So y'all can see from the side. So we have that one that's got some on it, and then I got this one that's still kind of dry. <laughs> Chris says, Miss Maggie. Y'all see me as Miss Maggie? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, y'all. See why I don't preheat my oven? Would have exploded by now. I just have too much fun with y'all. All right, we're going to get up all of this, sop it up, sop y'all up with a biscuit, get up all of that. And then we're going to go around. I'm just using the brush to go around the outside. Take a little bit from the top and just get all around there. All right, so we got that nice seasoning. I did the size. She said put it on the top, but I leave no crust left behind. Thank you, Jania. Thank you for being here. Okay, now we're ready to put our crust in the oven. I know. Happiness, you are not late. You are not late. All right, so let's clean my hands. Let's get this in the oven. I'm gonna do 400 for like 20 minutes. While we're doing 20 minutes, we'll get a beverage. We'll talk about merch and uh, all of that. All right, let's go. All right, so the recipe says 425 at 30 minutes if you're using the oven plus hey Sinji oh my goodness we're about to go over the merch so the uh, the recipe says 425 at 30 minutes but again remember the recipe is for six cabbage steaks I'm only doing two and because the air fryer is smaller it heats up faster you don't need as much time all right so let's see if we can get these in and close the door close the door hold door close the door So we got 400 degrees. Mom says clean as you go. So I'm just going to rinse this stuff off, wipe down the counters. We'll get a beverage. And then we're going to look at the merch that just came in. All right, everyone. even rinsing it it smells good 
but yes, y'all could do this seasoning blend on anything. I'm thinking garlic toast. If you have some like old crunchy bread, mix some oil, these five seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, paprika, chili powder, and Italian seasoning, and just brush it on there. Brush it on your vegetables. If you have bland broccoli or bland cauliflower, get that little paste, put it in a container or a Ziploc bag and shake, get it all greased up and coated up, pop it in the air fryer, oven, an easy oven roasted vegetable to go with steak. Did I do the salt and pepper? No, I didn't do the salt and pepper. See, this is what happens. Hold up. <laughs> All right. Just gonna put some salt. I told y'all I messed up. And pepper just gets a crack pepper on there. And uh, let me just do both sides. Sorry, y'all. I'll get it back in there. This is when my mom gets on to me because I'm not focused. But in all seriousness, if I had moved the seasonings out of the way once I had used them in the paste, then I would know which ones I have used, okay? So do better than me. Once you get your seasonings, um, move them out of the way so that you know what you've used and you know what you haven't. My hands. All right, I think we've got some. Okay, going back in. Sorry, guys. I'm a boy mom, so it's kind of like when the kids make Legos and then you have, uh oh, and then you have extra pieces and you're like, or when you assemble furniture and you're like, am I supposed to have this extra stuff? Okay, let's put this away. Put this away. Put this away. I am sweating. I'm sweating. Did you get your? Oh, you're gonna get all that? Yeah. I am wearing a sweatshirt, y'all, and it is a little bit hot. It's nice and warm on the inside, but this is the first thing that arrived, so I'm wearing it for y'all. But yes, it's hot. Okay. Speaking of hot, I'm gonna get a beverage. Shout out to the Walmart water. I don't know if you have a favorite. I do have all of them here. So I will grab them. Let's clean the counters. Because I'm going to get the, uh, the merch out. I don't want to mess it up. Yes, clean as you go. That's what mom said. Clean as you go. And I love my kitchen, but these um, granite counters, sometimes it's hard to see if there's something on them. So I'm always wiping all my life. I had to wipe. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, my thing. All right. Oh, Mary, I don't see a comment. If you type something, I missed it, sweetheart. Uh, Joe says, James Brown was the original mumble rapper. Oh, get up off of that thing. Y'all know I don't know. Y'all know I don't know. Yeah, Mary, your comments aren't coming through, my dear. So if you want to ask a question or if you want to see something, maybe you want to go over to YouTube. Um, go over to YouTube and try in the chat. All right. So this is air drying. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll do some giveaways. We're going to try on some stuff. I got some new aprons. Let me get a beverage. All right, everyone. One second. Choose 
got a Walmart grocery order in. So we have our Walmart water, strawberry or cherry limeade. I don't know if anyone has a uh, preference. Huh? Thank you. Oh, there it is, Marie. Thank you. Or oh, Mary. She says, Maggie, you're a joy. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate that. Whitney says, Maggie, you're such a gem. I'm not having a good day, but you're making me smile for real. You know what? Thank you for saying that because sometimes I don't have a good day. Then I come in here with y'all and we turn up and I have a good time. Whitney says strawberry. All right, my dear. Let me know if you want me to put some lemon in it. All right. So so I keep these in the fridge. This is my Clear American, zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, blah, blah, blah. My uh, sparkling waters. If you're a soda drinker, um, try if you want to, if you care. I'm not the food police. This has been a good substitute for me. You love cherry lime? <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do both. All right. So, I have my sparkling water. Oh, this is going to be lame, but because we're celebrating, usually I put it in a stemless wine glass, but I'm gonna put a couple pieces of ice in here. I know, I know. Allow me. So that would not happen in the champagne flute, but ladies, remember, hold your stemware by the stem. We do not hold our stemware like this. Hold it by the stem. This is something you can practice at home for free. If you need a little bit more stability here, the more elegant is down here, okay? So, do not drink out of a can like a dude. Pour it into a glass and practice small, silent sips. Small, silent sips. I learned this also in etiquette class. And here's your unsolicited etiquette tip of the day. If you are somewhere and you are put on the spot to make a toast, the proper way to make a toast of course, we're going to drink to your good health. You do not, Sinji. Thank you for the $25. He says, hashtag only pans for the only yams. <laughs> the only yams in the household. Get the, furn Get the furniture moving with the hickory bacon sizzling. Thank you for cleaning it up. I appreciate you. I need to put uh, Sinji up on the Struggle Stream whiteboard at $25. Thank you for supporting. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, Wilbur. We have a new stream sponsor. But here is your etiquette tip for your toast. If you are the guest of honor, you do not toast yourself and you do not applaud yourself. You allow others to toast you. So you will have your beverage. You can think about something from the past something from the present and something in the future about the guest of honor. So for example, I am going to toast to Maggie, the substitute teacher. I know I shouldn't. Tonight we celebrate Maggie, the substitute teacher. I remember when Maggie started her YouTube channel at, th at 32 subscribers and she has come a long way. Today she is celebrating 35,000 subscribers and we have no doubts that uh, very soon Maggie will be crossing over 50 and then 100,000 subscribers. So please raise a toast as we drink to her good health. Cheers, Maggie. And that's it, all right? Something about the past, some about the present, something about the future, about your guest of honor. That's an easy way to make a toast if you're ever put on the spot, okay? So that's your unsolicited etiquette tip. Yes, brought to you by the Walmart water, absolutely, and small silent sips. And we don't toss our head back, all right? Bring the glass to you. Yeah, sending a virtual hug. Let me get Sinji up on the board. Yes, sir. Thank you for the 25. How's our cabbage looking? Just move this so we don't get any. I didn't find $25 doing your laundry, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. $25 from Sinji. <laughs> always, always with the word for us. All right. 
Yes, but not while driving. Absolutely. No drinking while driving. Marie Marie says, hello, everyone. I heard but couldn't congratulate because I was driving. I'm getting loaded now. Congratulations on 35K, Maggie. I know, y'all. We did it in the stream. Thank you. And whoever was the 35,000, I love sending happy mail. If you want to inbox me, that's fine. Chris says, oh, thank you for that. Absolutely. I have invested thousands in myself, in personal development for my own you know, reasons, uh, etiquette classes, elegance classes, public speaking. For me, it's important. Uh, so I love sharing with you all. And that's what we do in my Patreon. I'll be doing my first Patreon exclusive live stream tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the base level is just a dollar. That's the lowest Patreon will let me make it. But if you all are interested in the work that I've done to refine, to be more elegant, um, that's what we talk about there. But I love sprinkling it all in. Thank you all about the max. Absolutely. All right. What are we talking about? Oh, so yes, only pans merch. So here's the story. 30 second story. I think I was talking to lead attorney either in the mastermind or in one of his streams. Y'all know <laughs> one moment. Clearly I'm not there yet. Um, I was talking to lead attorney and I should have turned the glass to the side. And y'all know, like Sinji, he's always making comments that are a little bit risque. And he said something about selling his feet pics or body parts or something on OnlyFans. And if you don't know what OnlyFans is, it is another subscription website, kind of like Patreon. However, on OnlyFans, there's a different type of content that you can pay for to see. Thank you, Mike. And um, y'all know Maggie is the wholesome one. Everything over here is always family friendly. And I remember telling lead attorney, oh, you're not gonna find Maggie on OnlyFans, but you will find me on OnlyFans because I'm always cooking, all right? So I said it kind of in the moment, didn't think anything of it, and y'all liked it. Everything I do here is in response to y'all. Y'all were like, oh my gosh, only pans, that's hilarious. And I fought it for the longest time, but we would say shout out, hashtag only pans. And my editor, y'all know 10 plus sounds, he made this logo. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like the Maggie logo inside a skillet, okay? So y'all know this Maggie logo. It's this inside a skillet, hashtag only pans. So if you all go to my merchandise website, the link is in the description, as well as, I don't know where else I put it. I'm, I think the um, moderators can put it in there. I have a whole store set up now, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, tote bags, everything with hashtag only pans, okay? And so I placed an order for my favorite item, aprons. So let me just make sure this is cleaned off. And I'll start with the black one for Sinji. All right, you all can let me know what you think. Sorry. Mike says, I'm so gracious, thank you. Oh, the pants. Okay, so this is a different vendor than I've used before. So I just designed this online and I made one in multiple colors. There is a coupon code for you all now. I think you can get 10% off of coupon code only pants or $5 off with the coupon code cookbook. So interesting, ooh, now I gotta make this apron. Now this is interesting. <laughs> All right, so we got the apron, uh-oh. Y'all, this is a lot of work, hold up. We're learning together. Now it comes with the straps and I'm not very um, mechanical. So let's figure this out. So we have two long ones. Those probably tie around the back and then these tie around the neck. Okay, so y'all can see, well, first you can see the material here. It's got like a little sheen on it. It looks like a nice like woven material. So we're gonna take the two short ones, <laughs> stand by. Okay, are they all the same length? Maybe they're all the same length. All right, so we're gonna go in through the buttons. 
the other one, the other brand that I use, um, the straps came attached, but you know, we'll give it a try, see what y'all think. All right. So we have, all right. Oh, that's on the waist. Okay, let's go up here while I assemble this apron. Oh, no fear. <laughs> Only grill smoke. One of y'all, one of y'all was talking about selling body parts and y'all know, I don't know. Shout out to Only Pans. All right, so we're getting our straps on the apron, but y'all can see, oh, uh oh, I'm sorry. So we got the hashtag Only Pans. So let's put it together and I'll put it on so y'all can see, and then we'll just open up the rest and then you all can let me know which one you like. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. Okay. Um, so we got three down, one more to go. Oh. I am not mechanical, hold up. Assembly is not my forte. <laughs> Wilbert says, check my cash app again. And it has begun money wars. Wilbert just sent $15 and one cent. Shout out to the penny power. Wilbert originally had sent $10 for the Maggie roll. May it prosper forever. Now he's sending 1501 for a total of 2501 saying sorry, Sinji. So now we have a new stream sponsor. Stream sponsors come to the front of the class. 2501. Whew. That cabbage smells so good, y'all. Cheesy. 2501. Wilbert. All right. Oh, wow. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking kind of done. Let me focus over here. Last one. Thank you, Wilbert. Thank you, Sinji. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you all. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Whew. All right. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Once I get it tied to my like size, then you won't have to like retie it multiple times. Now this one does not have um, pockets, but we have our only pair. <laughs> oh, sh ah! oh, I forgot I have help. Oh dear. Let me turn on the air. So we have, what does it say? Uh-oh, I hear stomachs and guts, chicken, bubbling. Okay, so we have the only pants apron. You all can give me your feedback, but Wilbert, we have a new stream sponsor. Hello, Christina. Thank you, Wilbert. Sinji is now giving $50 on top of his original $25. So now Sinji is the stream sponsor at $75. All right. Oh, this looks so good. All right. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Sinji. All right, $75, Sinji. All right, y'all. We're gonna get our toppings out. I don't know what y'all are thinking so far. I just threw this on on top of this sweatshirt. I'm gonna have to uh -oh, tie it better, but our steaks are coming out and we need to get the toppings ready. So you all can let me know. I will open all of them 
And if anybody is loving one, we can do some happy mail. So I'll leave them here for now. But we have our holy hands. Mike says, go Sinji, go. I know, right? Cheers. Thank you, Sinji. Okay. So this is coming out. Now we got to get our toppings, y'all, but I'm going to show you and I'm going to taste it. Hello. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. All right. So for the toppings, we have two options, right? We have our marinara and we have our um, feta. All right. So we're going to get everything. So the toppings, oh, let's get it out. Hold up. Oh, I hear it sizzling. This was 15 minutes at 400 in the air fryer. Y'all, it smells heavenly. You see these pieces hanging off the side? I'm going to taste one just to taste our crust, okay? And I'm going to... All right. Y'all like these crispy edges? Let's get in there and give that a taste. One more to make sure they were hanging off. Greedy. You know, just these pieces that are hanging off, that's all. Okay. One pepperoni, one feta. All right. All right. Focus, Maggie. Yup. I'm getting excited. Looks good. It's hot. It's um, kind of crispy. It's well seasoned. Mmm. 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 Then you know how the cabbage kind of has like a little bitterness with the oil and everything? It really mixes well. Mmm. Last one. Mmm. 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 Okay, focus. If y'all want a good side dish, excellent. So our pizza crusts are done. Oh, Christina's sick again. Okay, I hope you feel better, my dear. We're gonna leave these here. So what we need for the toppings, a quarter cup of marinara or pesto. We're gonna do both. Okay. You can use pizza sauce. You can use spaghetti sauce. I have this uh, Bertoli tomato and basil, just a marinara sauce, just a jar pasta sauce. And then pesto. I ordered from Walmart, we have the basil pesto, which is probably the traditional, and then this one's sun-dried tomato pesto. We'll probably use the green to go along with her feta version, all right? So just showing you all, we have pesto, and we have pasta sauce, okay? So we have that. Hello, everybody coming in. Oh. Sore throat, I'm sorry, Christina. I hope you feel better, sweetheart. Uh, honey, lemon, ginger. Okay, now for cheese, it says a cup of shredded mozzarella. So again, if you can have cow dairy, just use your regular mozzarella. I'm gonna use manchego, which is another sheep's cheese. If you all were with me yesterday when we did the lemon blueberry chaffles, I have some left, but I feel like I need some more. I feel like I need, because that could be a cup. We'll give it a try. We'll just use that amount, but I'll show y'all what it is. This is what I shredded yesterday. Manchego cheese is another sheep's milk cheese. You can see it comes off of a cheese wheel. So I just literally cut off the wax edges and then we shred the middle. If you have the one in the bag, that's fine. 
but you can see here sheep's milk. So that's how I stay dairy free. Uh, you love pesto? Yeah, we're going to do two versions. So she did a pepperoni version and she did a pesto version. All right, two ounces of mini pepperonis or feta cheese. I think I still have some mini pepperoni and I know I have some feta. All right. If I were really doing the right thing, I wouldn't have been doing the um, apron modeling. Get your topping ingredients together while you're cooking your crust. So I have some regular uh, pepperoni. These are the small ones. Um, so this is what I'm going to put on there just like she did. And then I do have some feta. I love this one. This one is actual feta from uh, Greece. And you can see here imported. This one is made from sheep's milk as well. So this is authentic feta made from sheep's milk. So this one comes in like a little salt solution. So I got to scoop it out of there. I know it looks really weird, but when I scoop it out of there, it'll crumble nicely. It gives you that nice, creamy, crumbly, salty flavor. Excellent. All right. So this is a dairy-free option for me. So I'm going to do that on the pesto version. Uh, and then it says dried oregano. I don't know if I have oregano. If you don't have oregano, you can just do Italian seasoning because it's got oregano in it. But I'll look. Italian seasoning. Yeah. Cilantro, parsley, dill. All right. Oh, who did this? Y'all, these kids. Oh. I've taught both boys how to cook. All right, glad I have another. In a pinch, uh, I'm going to use some Italian seasoning on here because this actually has oregano in it. That's my substitute. And then it says baby peppers. Y'all wanted some jalapeno on the feta. So I have Fresh is best if you can get it, but I have some jalapenos. Y'all wanted this, so I'll have some jalapeno on the side. But she used fresh red peppers. I have some leftover from when I cooked with mom. It's like one of these peppers, but red. So we'll slice a little bit of that on there. And then chili pepper flakes. So if you like a little bit of heat, we'll get some chili pepper flake. And sprinkle that on. All right, so now we are ready to top. So in the last, um, in step three, we brushed them with the mixture and cooked until golden, cooking them up till they're golden, cooking them up till they're golden, cooking them up till they're golden, golden. Okay, they're a little bit more than golden, but I'm happy. What is the crust? It's a cabbage. So the crust is a cabbage sliced thick. All right, so that's what she's making here. Top each steak with one tablespoon of either marinara or pesto. So we're gonna do one of each. All right, so let's start with the marinara or whatever pasta sauce you have. I almost feel like doing more than a tablespoon. Is that enough? Greedy. So we're just gonna spread that over to the edges just like you're doing a pizza sauce. All right, so we got that. This time I'm gonna move it over to the side. All right, so we have marinara sauce on top of the first one. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out. We're gonna do the same with pesto on the other one. All right, we're gonna make them both in the same time and then just put them back in the air fryer. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. All right, so now we're going to do pesto. So these are like cabbage pizzas, Mediterranean pizzas. All right. So we're going to use this pesto. Um, this is a basil pesto. So this is what I ordered. Shake it up. Y'all know it settles. Shake it up. Shake it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shake it up. All right. 
Oh, the pine nuts, the garlic, everything in there. All right. I have a recipe to make my own healthy pesto. I'm not doing that tonight. So we're going to get a nice spoonful of pesto and we're going to put this all over that second cabbage. Just like she did. And I'm just going to kind of smear it all the way to the edge. I do like the red so far better because it just jumps off of the cabbage. Y'all know we eat with our eyes first, but I'm just making sure this is going to get all down in them corners. <laughs> Shout out to the cell. All right. So one with pesto. Never tried sun-dried tomato pesto. I'll try it. I placed an order, an online order, and I got one of each. So I'm going to taste this. Yummy. I'll taste it for you. I've never had it either, but you could, oh, I'm having a delay. You can see it's uh, chunky. I'll give it a little taste for you. Mmm, <clears throat> zippy, bright. I really like it. Um, very tomatoey, very garlicky. I really like it. If you like probably a half and half between just straight marinara and this together, that's what they taste like. That's what it tastes like, a combination of these two. All right, so we've topped with the marinara and the pesto. Sprinkle with the mozzarella. Mozzarella for you, I'm using manchego, but use what you have. So we're gonna put a healthy amount of melting cheese on here. I shredded this yesterday. So both of them are going to get the mozzarella cheese. One of them is going to get mozzarella and feta. All right, so you all can see. And you know the stuff that spilled on the side. Okay, not this stuff, but this stuff, get that up in there. All right, so let's use it all. Get it all around to the edges. We want that cheese to melt nicely. Don't waste nothing. Okay, that's done. All right. All right, so now we've got our sauce, just like we're doing a pizza. You love the green one? Okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's warm in my hand. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. If the rhythm feels good to you, baby, let me hear you say, uh, uh, baby. Okay, sorry, I just had to get that out. Focus, Maggie. All right, marinara pesto, spread out evenly with the back of your spoon, we did. Sprinkle with mozzarella and top with the pepperoni or feta and peppers. All right, so let's do this one with the pepperoni. So excited! Okay, focus. So we have some mini pepperonis, or it could be sausage crumbles. It could be whatever you like. Have it your way, Burger King. All right. Probably don't need that much, but let's go ahead and put the... That's really a bit much. But since we're here... Okay. Spread it out a little bit so we don't look too greedy. All right, so we got one with the mini pepperonis and then I'm gonna do the crumbled feta on the other one. Feels good? All right, one down. So sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free um, feta. Okay, so since this cheese comes in a solution, I need to get a spoon and get it out. All right, so just like the fresh mozzarella, I'm just gonna take out like a chunk of this. I know it looks weird. Just kind of drain it a little bit on the side. And then I'm just gonna crumble it in my hand. Feta on top of the manchego or mozzarella if you're having mozzarella, all right? So this will crumble nicely just with a little bit of pressure. Uh-oh. Great on a spinach salad. Gives you that nice salty tangy. 
So we're going to put the feta cheese all over the pesto pizza. Kind of spread that out. All right, let me clean my hands. All right, so we're done with this. Move it out of the way. All right, let's put that back on there. All right, one with feta, one with pepperoni. Oh, and peppers. Uh, Y'all wanted jalapeno? I'll do a little bit of jalapeno. The reason feels good to you, baby. Let me hear you say. So I'm just going to cut. If you notice on her, she has little red peppers. So I'm just going to slice like a couple of rings of this and get the seeds out. And then that'll be a nice pop of color on top of that green and white. I'll just give it, I'll slice it and then I'll rinse it. Just kind of. And I'll do one jalapeno for y'all. So I'm just going to rinse these off and get the seeds out. <laughs> oh boy. This is what I was cooking with mom. <sighs> y'all. <coughs> okay, for y'all, <coughs> the song brings back memories. Chris can't wait. I'm clearing out my sinuses. All right, y'all. So we got... <coughs> the spices and the seeds y'all so we have two red peppers i'll do and then y'all wanted a jalapeno so i'm just going to do the jarred jalapeno even though i don't want to but i have jalapenos for y'all i'm already dying enough but the jar is not going to be as spicy and um all this creamy feta. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. For y'all. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mom, your spices are killing me. Good grief. All right, put the jalapeno away. Clean up as we go. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna put, <coughs> sorry y'all, feta, mini red peppers. We're gonna sprinkle with the oregano and chili pepper plate, chili pepper flakes, pop back in the oven until the cheese is melted, just a few minutes. All right, so the hard part was getting it ready. This, if it's good, leave them past the smoke green leaves alone. They're for cooking only, I know, oh, really? Y'all know I don't smoke. Oh my goodness. Let's put some Italian seasoning on here. Um, the hard part was getting these sliced and your crusts ready, but we're going to put Italian seasoning on both. It really should be oregano, but this is what I got. All right. So we got some Italian seasoning on there and this gives you flavor. We have Italian seasoning in the crust, but we're going to put it on top. All right. And then we're going to do some chili flake just because y'all want me to really go down. All right. I'm going to go light on the chili flake. It is good, especially on a pizza. But if this turns out to be good, this could be a great, I was going to say vegan option, but without the pepperoni, but you could do like a, you know, family bar. I wouldn't do this for a date night, but you know, let the kids get in a vegetable, put in it how they like. All right, so this is what we have. We're gonna pop these back in the air fryer. All right, while they're in the air fryer, we're gonna clean up and uh, we'll get the rest of the aprons out. Just until that cheese melts, okay? Do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do. All right, everyone, let's clean up. Let that melt, maybe five minutes, maybe. I do want to get the pudding out. <clears throat> we'll do that last. We have our chia pudding from yesterday. I do want to dress that for you 
and then we will be done and I'll let you all have your evening. <sighs> Hello everyone. Okay. So yes. Mm. So what do we think about the apron? It's a little hard to see black on black, right? <laughs> I know. All right, let's get the other ones out. I'll just hold them up. Y'all can tell me what you think. We'll look at them together. Let me just move all this and wipe down one more time. And if anybody feels like happy mail, we can do a giveaway for sure. A little trivia, like the old days, like we used to. Hello, Mallory. Thank you for being here. All right. So, so these aprons, you're going to have to tie them yourself, but having them on or assemble them yourself, but having them on, I like it. The material is sturdy. It seems to fit well. The length is kind of long for me. All right, let's take a look at the yellow. Y'all know I like bright. All right. So for those of y'all coming in, we're melting our cheese. Aprons, I can't remember how much they are. I think they're like $20, y'all. All right. Y'all can tell me your favorite color. We got the only <laughs> I feel like a safety patrol. <laughs> I feel like a crossing guard. Okay, so we got the, <laughs> the yellow only pans. Shout out to the yellow. <laughs> oh no, not white wine. You know it's Walmart water. Y'all think I can cook for y'all and drink? I'm a lightweight. Maggie is one and done. Shout out to the Walmart water. We're celebrating 35K. Okay, so there's your yellow. Your safety patrol yellow. You like the yellow, Tasha? I like it too. Shout out to the OnlyPans. All right. Let's take a look at, and all of them come with the straps. You just have to put them on with buttons, okay? Let's check on our pizzas. Maybe like two more minutes, maybe. All right. Ooh, the white is nice. Y'all can see it's a really nice woven, kind of shiny material, pretty sturdy. If the rhythm feels good to you, baby, let me hear you say, uh, uh, baby. <laughs> All right, so we have the white only pants. Let me know who likes the white only pants apron. Give me feedback if y'all think the logo is good size, too small. Christina likes the white, okay? Okay. Our cheese is melted. I just want it to get like a light bubbly brown. And we're gonna move all the aprons out of the way. But I just ordered like one of everything just so y'all can see. Gray, this is probably a good masculine color. You know, nice and if the rhythm feels good to you, baby, let me hear you say, um, uh, um, uh, baby. Okay, I don't know why I have to do that, but I just got to break them in with the gray. Who likes the gray? Whitney's laughing. You like all three? Okay. All right. So we have a gray. And then the last one, I don't want to burn it. Okay, let's turn this off. Oh, where are my superheroes at? Super cookers. <laughs> if the rhythm feels good to you, baby, let me hear you say, uh, uh, baby. If the rhythm feels good to you, oh, hold up, I'm melting. If the rhythm feels good to you, baby, let me hear you say, uh, uh, baby. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
<laughs> you love the red? Me too. Go dogs, right? Okay. So if y'all want to do a giveaway, we can do a trivia. So we have red, we have yellow, no, gray, white, and yellow. Okay. So let me move them far away. All right. Let's get our pizzas out. All right. I'll put them back in the bags. All right. Let's see. Oh, you like the red best? Chris says, there it is. Y'all like the red? Okay. Okay. Let's get our pizzas. Let me know if y'all think this is good or a little bit more. Does this look good or a little browner? We have one pesto and one pepperoni. You like the red and the gray? All of them are nice. All right. I didn't want to burn it. Y'all know how I get. I get distracted and the next thing you know, y'all are talking about me. A few more minutes. Okay. Okay. Just a couple minutes. They look really good. Wilbur says, I remember when custom ringtones were popular. I wish you were streaming then. You would provide many ringtones. Y'all don't want to hear this. Uh, a little browner. Okay. Whitney says they look good. Okay. Like 90 seconds, two minutes. Let's get our, um, I was going to say chia pets. Y'all remember yesterday, if you were with me yesterday, remember we made this chia put pudding. Okay. I'm going to dress it for you, but after our pizzas, but I just want to show you all what we have. So we made the chia pudding with coconut milk and chia seeds. Where are you? Come on. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where are all my pictures? It's sinking between devices. All right, let me get the pudding out. And this is supposed to be like an overnight oatmeal substitute. Okay, so yesterday, remember we made the lemon? All right, so this is what I'm gonna try and recreate. So I got raspberries, blueberries, pepitas, and then we have our pudding. All right, so this is chia seeds, coconut milk, vanilla, Y'all see it's cold and it's like not liquid anymore. So we are gonna dress that, all right? So I did get the pumpkin seeds, which are the pepitas, roasted pumpkin seeds, raspberry and blueberry. So the hard part was yesterday. That's gonna be our dessert or your dessert after I make your dinner, okay? So that's coming up, but let's finish our uh, pizzas. Let's check. It's bubbling. I hope y'all are good with that. Are we good? Pizzas look good. All right. So we're gonna plate them. Yum, okay. Let's turn this off. All right. So let's get a plate. How does she, so she just ate them out of the tray. I'm actually gonna plate them. And we'll do our pictures and then we'll take a bite. Looks perfect, looks delicious, okay. Oh, let's turn this off. All right. So anything that's big, I always use two spatulas or these are fish turners. So I'm gonna hold it steady, just so y'all are here for the lesson. Hold it steady with one on the side because if you just go with one, if it's big, it might move it. So I'm gonna hold it steady here and then get up underneath there, get up underneath there, all right? Then we're gonna plate this. Hot, hot, hot. All right, so let's see if we can plate this nicely. And remember, it's cabbage. 
All right. You could sprinkle, I probably will do a little bit more Italian seasoning or if you have basil, that green will pop, okay? So we have this one and then we have the feta. Hold it steady and then get up underneath there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all can see the sides are already kind of, we try and place it. Oh my God, y'all, this smells incredible. This looks incredible. Let me just carefully move that. I am going to, all right, so the feta is not as glistening, but I'm going to taste them both. All right. Oh, hello, Alejandra. Hello, saludos desde Colombia. Ah, Miss Maggie, thank you. Muchas gracias. I appreciate that. Okay. I want to get my pictures while it's still kind of greased up. Let's put just a little bit more Italian seasoning on here. And y'all know me and my garnish. I actually go all the way around, get a little bit on the plate just for a little fanciness. All right. So we have this one and then the feta. And we're going to take our pictures so y'all can see <laughs> your dinner is ready. There's your feta and your, all right. Battery's low. Let me get Oh crap, I'm at 1%. Shoot, I didn't charge it. All right, let's see, let's take our pictures. One second, y'all. Don't forget, don't worry about getting up close to it. That's how you get beautiful pictures, okay? Get up on it. And then let me do my video. For the reels, people always used to ask, shoot, it just died. Ay! Okay, I knew it was gonna happen. Let me get this device. All right, TikTok, I'm gonna have to dismiss, thank you. Uh, all right. People always used to ask me, did you make that? Y'all, it's just me with my devices, iPad and iPhone. All right, so tonight we made the Hungry Happens uh, cheesy cabbage steaks. We have a pepperoni version here with mini pepperonis, manchego cheese, chili peppers, and Italian seasoning. And we also have the feta version with pesto, jalapenos, red peppers, and manchego, all on cauliflower steaks. Sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Enjoy. All right. Now, let us taste. Hello, everybody. All right. Hello, 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 hello. Got it just in time. Whew, man. I don't know which one to eat first, y'all. Greedy. All right. Most of y'all wanted marinara. So let's get a fork and a knife. I'm excited. Okay, now you can't, let me get on the fork. So because this is cabbage, you're not gonna be able to pick it up, even though it looks like a personal size pizza, like a thick crust, you're not gonna be able to pick it up and just eat it like that. All right, so we're gonna have to cut into it, but you all can see what we have here. All right. So I'm gonna try and cut away from the stem because I know that part's gonna be thicker. kind of falling apart, but I don't mind. I'm going to try and scoop it up in there. All right. We got that uh, cabbage, a little pepperoni. Let's see what we have. It is good. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
takes a little getting used to because you know how you bite into pizza and the dough just kind of melts in your mouth? This is a cabbage crust. So you, it's like it's got that roughage in it and it kind of disintegrates like this. So you're going to have to chew on it a little bit more. But talk about good fiber and keeping you full, low carb. I was a little generous with the chili peppers. But y'all, that flavor, that cheesy um, seasoning went all the way down in here. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is good. Hold up. I'm going to get one more. Get it up in there. Mm. It all comes together nicely. I would just probably, for me, I might make them just a little bit thinner so I don't have to chew as much. But y'all, it tastes like a really good pizza. I don't know how to explain it. But I really like it. I would absolutely eat that. Let's taste the feta. All right. Y'all got me with this jalapeno. I'm going to come on this side first. And honestly, I cooked them in the air fryer for 15 minutes. It said 30, but maybe if you cook them a little bit longer, they'll be more tender. I actually like a little bit of roughage. But because they're so thick, either thinner with less time or thicker with more time in the oven. But the flavor is excellent. All right, so we're gonna get up in here with the pepper. Oops, y'all see all that? Oh, we're gonna get up in there. I'm just gonna layer it. This pesto is hot, but it's so good. I really think, let me toss this, y'all. Okay, my nose is running. I didn't think I was gonna like this one. I love the pesto and I think it's because the pesto has like that basil, garlicky, green kind of um, uh, taste to it anyway. This, it tastes like a pizza, but then it chews like a cabbage. And so it just threw me off a little bit. It's still very good. I would eat them both, absolutely. But this thing right here, y'all, I know it looks interesting. Trust me. Get in here with that feta and that uh, pesto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. The crumbly feta, the saltiness of it, the nuttiness of the pesto really pairs well. The cabbage is kind of, you know, a little bit bland on its own. Yes. Y'all, this is fancy. Now I'm going to try one with your jalapeno, even though I don't want to. But I, I just need one more bite, then I'm going to dress... Just see how it falls apart. So it's just a little tricky to eat once you put pressure on it. But if you don't mind that. Whew. Jalapeno. And some extra cabbage for y'all. Y'all, woo! Okay, everything's clearing out. Good night, Christine. I hope you feel better. Y'all, this thing right here, I'm not even gonna lie. This could be a great side item or a meal on its own if you wanna put like some Italian sausage or something on it. Yes.
Okay, class. Our last item for the night, our dessert, your dessert. We are going to dress your chia pudding. Whew. Yesterday we made this chia pudding and it's supposed to stay in the fridge for like an hour or two or more overnight to give it that nice um, pudding consistency. So if you can't have oatmeal, excuse me, if you can't have oatmeal or you're trying to avoid grains, the chia seeds in coconut milk, they bloom and kind of blossom and give you that smooth creaminess without the, um, what is it called? <clears throat> Y'all, I'm telling you, that's hot, but it's good. Okay, so where are we? Let me find it from yesterday. So what we made yesterday, just so you all know, and I know this is janky. Oh, it's bright. Coconut chia pudding. So we had, let me turn the brightness down so y'all can see. Chia seeds, agave syrup. I used my sugar-free honey. Shout out to the bees. Vanilla, salt, and coconut milk. So we mixed all of that up and put it overnight. So now I'm just going to top it and taste it. All right. Y'all got me working, working, working day and night. It's good though. It's so good. All right. So we just need a few pepitas, pumpkin seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle lightly. You can roast your own pumpkin seeds. I used to do these with the kids when they were little and we would carve pumpkins and before they became teenagers and too cool for school. So we have some roasted pumpkin seeds in here. Mm. All right, a couple blueberries, a couple blackberries. I mean, a couple blueberries, a couple raspberries. You could use whatever fruit you like. So I'm just gonna get like a handful of raspberries and um, rinse those off, put them in there. So delicate, so beautiful on toast, French toast or, y'all got me running. And I have a feeling this would heat up really well um, just in the air fryer or the oven, kind of like you would reheat pizza. Oh my God, so delicate, hello. All right, so we have pumpkin seeds and raspberries. So, oh, Whitney says you and your mom used to roast pumpkin seeds, yeah. All right, and then lastly, some blueberries. So I got a fresh batch so they don't look janky. These are biggins. These are the biggins, y'all. We got some big ones, look at that. One is still kind of green. Hopefully they're not too tart, but we do have some sweetener inside here. So just a few blueberries. I have all those memories with the kids. Y'all know they're teenagers now. So now y'all are my kids. All right, let's rinse these off. Mom is not cool. Mom ain't never been cool. You'll be all right. All right, so let's put these in here. People like to tuck a few of them in. People like to know what they're eating. I'm a little heavy handed. All right, so we have our chia pudding, sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free, coconut milk, and seeds. So let me take a quick picture. I'm gonna put a spoon in it, just like theirs is. This is what I do on my channel, y'all. I find social media recipes and I try to recreate them with y'all. All right, let's get a spoon. And then we taste it. And if I like it, you're gonna know. And if I don't like it, you're gonna know. All right, let's get this away from the pizzas. Get in there. So beautiful. I just think food is beautiful. I don't know. I just, 
I kind of nerd out. It's like art to me and I'm not artistic. Y'all have told me, I know I can't draw. All right, so we have the overnight chia pudding with coconut milk and chia seeds, uh, sugar-free honey, vanilla and salt. We've topped it with pumpkin seeds, pepitas. We have fresh raspberry and blackberry. Enjoy. All right, so let's give it a taste. Your dessert is ready. You all can see. All right, so you have your dessert. Let's give it a taste. We'll put a little bit of everything in there. A little pumpkin seed, a little raspberry. Look how thick and creamy it is. It gives us the custard texture. Yesterday it was just coconut milk. It was just uh, watery. It's creamy, it's silky, it's smooth, it's light, very mild coconut flavor. I could go for some more pumpkin seeds because I like it crunchy. Peanuts, sunflower seeds, whatever you like. Y'all, it's good. Uh, definitely a fun hobby when one has a time. Absolutely, y'all could do these with the kids. Coconut milk, I had another can out here. Oh my God. Hmm. Canned coconut milk you can get at Walmart or any store. Shake it up. And then the chia seeds. Ch -ch -ch chia. Mm. These are the seeds. All right. These two ingredients mix up with a little bit of sweetener, vanilla. If you're missing yogurt, if you're missing oatmeal, if you're missing any of those sugary, high carb, dairy-free, gluten-free. Good night. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, y'all, we're gonna dismiss. We can do the, um, the giveaways another day. Oh, unless anybody is really, really dying to have one, but thank you so much for helping me to monetize my passion for food. Thank you. Um, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank you um, to the stream sponsor, Sinji. $75. Thank you. That is incredibly generous and I mean it. I don't take it for granted. I appreciate it. Y'all don't even have to. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, it's time. <clears throat> Y'all don't even have to be here, but then to come through and to be so generous. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're interested in how I got monetized so quickly, that means I earn, I earn extra income from a YouTube channel that pays for private school. As a mom, I say thank you. You can check out my course. It's $50. You have lifetime access. Hello, Alaskan. Uh, I've gotten really good feedback that it's excellent for beginners. <clears throat> I show you my whole approach, including screenshots. If you have a channel and you're not monetized yet, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you want to know how you can earn extra income, all of that is in my course. Link is in the description. Thank you, B. Marie. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you. Um, we talked about the cruise already. If you all are interested in meeting me on the high seas, we are taking a cruise at the end of the year. Details are in the description. You can uh, book your uh, room. Royal Caribbean, Lauren is our travel agent taking care of all the details. I am registered and I'm going to start making dinner reservations. So if you all want to have dinner with me uh, on the cruise, let me know. Cookbook. I do have a cookbook. Uh, discount code is good for one more month. If you all want to, excuse me, you all want to see the recipes that you voted as the best, it's a digital download. You get it instantly. I am going to work on a printed version if y'all want me to sign it and mail it to you. I'll get you a tabletop version. Um, you have the uh, recipe you can read. You also have the, um, <laughs> how do I feel about cooking with sous vide? What is sous vide? Is that like a device? 
I'm not a professional, so I've heard the term, so you're going to have to give me the um, definition. Or is that an assistant? No, that's sous chef. Anyway, um, the cookbook is a digital download. You have the recipe. You can read it. You also have a video of me preparing it. So if you want to watch me make it, you absolutely can do that. And uh, as we update it, you'll get the uh, updated version. Um, and then lastly, community. If you all are interested, oh, <laughs> cooking and smoking. Exactly. Here comes Sinji. Now I'm coughing. I don't know if it was the chia seeds or if it was the uh, spicy peppers. Um, but thank you, Sinji. You know, you are so special. It's such a huge support here. Um, the community. So I do have a Patreon. If you all are interested in my etiquette journey, uh, I'm going to do my first Patreon live stream tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be uh, exclusively in the Patreon, not on YouTube. You can join at the $1 level and talk to me in the Patreon group uh, tomorrow live. Uh, and then no cooking stream tomorrow. I am scheduled to be on Melanie King's um, panel tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. She's having a relationship panel and I'm so grateful she asked me to join. So it was moved from last week. So hopefully I will be live on Melanie King's platform tomorrow night. If anything changes, just stay connected on my community tab and I'll let you know. And uh, if it doesn't go live, then I'll do another Q&A or something, but no cooking uh, tomorrow, all right? OnlyFans link in the bio. Yes, you like the hashtag OnlyFans? <laughs> all right, you all. Well, I think that's it. Y'all had fun tonight. Oh, thank you, Marissa. My first time seeing you here. Thank you, B. Marie, my first time. Chris says good night. Lauren says good night. Kia says yummy. I said blackberries. Thank you, Geneva. It is blueberries. Um, all right, everyone. Well, this was fun. We did a lot, um, but yes. Thank you so much. I will see you all tomorrow, 5 p.m. in the Patreon or 8 p.m. on Melanie King. All right. Thank you so much, uh, IG. Class is dismissed. I don't know if I missed anyone, but thank you. All right. And uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Tasha. I appreciate it. Oh, Chrissy says sous vide is a vacuum sealer and immersing in warm water. I thought it was one of those seal machines. Yeah, you can. It's kind of like when you buy the um, boil and bag rice or the um, frozen fish that's like, you know, you can. I don't see what anything's wrong with it, but shout out to OnlyPans. I like to cook in the skillet, maybe because I'm old. I've just never done it before, but thank you for helping me. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, Wilbert. And thank you, Sinji. I appreciate you. All right, y'all. Shout out to the OnlyFans because you won't find Maggie on OnlyFans, but you will find me on OnlyFans. And I will see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. <laughs>